Hi, I'm Dan from SL Gun Shop. I want to talk a little bit about how you carry your gun concealed. Concealed carry is now very important. Uh, many states allow civilians to carry gun, but it is called concealed carry. Some states allow open carry, but the rules in some states are vague. It's best if you're in any state and you have a concealed carry permit to always carry it concealed. There are a lot of options for doing concealed carry. Anywhere from a generic nylon holster, which is very inexpensive in the $11, $12 to $15 range. It straps onto your belt and you put the gun in. It has a nylon strap that's adjustable to go over the end of the gun or, or the hammer and lock it into place. This is a great option for concealed carry if you're not going to do it a lot. Another great option is called a paddle holster. A paddle holster actually uses a paddle that goes between you, your, your body, and your pants to hold the gun into place. It's very easy to put on, very easy to take off, and it holds the gun nice and high. It's very secure and it won't tip because it's got a nice wide base down here that prevents it from tipping. Good paddle leather holsters are a little more money, but well worth the investment. Now, some people like to carry so that they don't have the gun sticking out from their side. They'll use a small of the back holster. Small of the back holsters are oriented so that they go onto your back like this with the butt of the gun up and tilted at an angle so that it won't fall out. This allows you quick access to your weapon. The only downside to it is it's uncomfortable if you're sitting or driving uh, for long periods of time because it does put a lump back here in the back. But a great one if you're walking around and have a light jacket or a sweater on. Then there's the tra traditional leather holster that has a snap. This threads through the belt loops right here and holds the gun in place. It does have a leather snap that allows the gun to be secure. So if you wanted to go play with the kids on the jungle gym, you could actually play and turn it upside down. It won't fall out. Just kidding. Another option is a slimline belt holster. This one, unlike some of these others, like this one, is a little narrower in profile front to back. Does the same thing. It slides through your belt loops, but presents a smaller profile for the, uh, for the holster. If you're going to be carrying out in the woods or in some place that's really dangerous and you want to make sure that you don't lose control of your weapon, there's a whole series of holsters that have retention. This has a little button. When you push the gun in, it clicks into place. The only way to get the gun out is to push this button and remove the gun. And that means that it's very secure. It won't fall out. But when you reach for the gun, your finger will automatically push that button and you draw the weapon and away you're ready to go. Another one, another way to carry is inside the pant. This is an option that uh, some people really like. And what it does is it slips, the holster slips between you and your pants, and it has a little clip that locks over your pant, and then your belt rides here to prevent it from coming out. This allows you to put the gun in, put your shirt over it, and have it totally concealed. The only thing people would really see would be this clip unless you flip the gun up. There's another option on the inside the pant, and these are called tuckables. Tuckables do the same thing. They go in your pant, but what they do is they have a flap here that allows you to tuck your shirt in. So my right hand is my pant, my two fingers are my belt, and I can tuck my shirt in. The only thing that people would see would be these two little dots and this little black line up here at the top. Everything else would be concealed. That's a great option too for concealed carry. Another one that I like personally is an in the pant pocket or in the pant holster. What this is is designed with a knobby textured finish. The gun slips into here. You can slip the gun into your pocket. The flat bottom of the holster keeps the gun from tipping over and becoming disoriented in your pocket. It also allows the weapon to be pulled and the holster stay in your pocket. That's a very good option. Obviously, you're not going to use it with a Beretta 92 or a full-size Colt 1911 because it would be rather big. Another option for people and is called the ankle holster. 
Ankle holsters are a great way to carry if you have a situation where you have to wear tight-fitting clothes. An ankle holster literally does exactly what it says. It straps around your ankle, it holds the gun down at the pant leg area, and for a right-handed person it would be on their left leg, for a left-handed person it would be on their right leg, and allows you to quickly draw the gun. The disadvantage of this is that it takes some getting used to. It's, uh, it's not a natural thing to uh, wear or to, uh, to learn about, but it is a great option. Now another way to carry that people we see in the movies all of the time and in TV shows is a shoulder holster. Shoulder holsters are a great way to carry conceal under a jacket. However, shoulder holsters are very uncomfortable unless you get a really good one. We don't carry a lot of shoulder holsters in stock because they're custom fit for every gun. And what we can do is order them for you. But we only order top quality ones. The cheap nylon ones, for the most part, will bind, they'll cut, they'll do other things. And there are some other options that are going to be coming on the market in just a, uh, a few months, and you'll be able to see those in some later videos. So if you have a question about how to carry your gun concealed, how to get the best uh, value out of the products that we have, come and see us at SL Gun Shop. We're at 443 Fitchburg Road in beautiful Mason, New Hampshire, and you can find us on the web at slgunshop.com or just give us a call at 603-878-2854. I'm Dan and thanks for watching.